Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hello. It is Pixel Partners here, and welcome back to Apollo of Justice Ace Attorney. When we left off, <laughs> we've been talking to Trucy and talking to people because we're doing all the flashbacks and getting information. She's been helpful to us. Yeah. And now we're going to learn about Mommy. Hopefully, it's not a lock behind some kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me about your Mommy who was shot? <laughs> I mean, Mommy, if it's okay. Mommy was so pretty. She was like an angel up on stage. On stage? Do you mean with your daddy? Yep. She was always there with Zack and Val and smiling. But then she went away. Went away? It was a grand illusion, but she made a mistake. She vanished. And I guess she didn't know how to get back. Maybe so. I cried then a lot. That's when daddy gave me this. Here. Oh. Hmm. This is your mother? She's beautiful. Hmm. Her name's... Whoa. Thalassa? Thalassa. <laughs> Thalassa Grammary. Poor girl. I didn't know her mommy had gone missing. And now her daddy's vanished too right before her eyes. Hey, daddy. You won't... Don't worry. I won't vanish. I promise. <laughs> Only for weeks at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you can't even do magic. You're like a backup plan. Daddy always said to have a backup plan. I guess all I read as is a backup plan. <laughs> oh, man. You're a rebound, Daddy. <laughs> I think that's probably enough for today. Sorry to ask you so much all at once like that. It's okay. After all, we're family. I just hope you're ready. The right talent agency opens tomorrow. But what? But, 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 but are we representing anyone? Me and you. That makes two, Daddy. I think you need more than that to make an agency. Besides, you may be a magician, but I'm no talent. Oh, I'm sure there's something you're good at. Well, when you put it that way... You mean you don't have any tricks? No old standbys? This will not do. I can scream objection really well. should always have a trick or two in his pocket. Objection! Okay, okay, I'll think of something. That's his spirit. See you bright and early tomorrow. <laughs> Welcome to the team, daddy -o. <laughs> The team. Right. <laughs> Sometimes when mag <sighs> magicians vanish, they leave something behind. That's how truth became Trucy Wright, my daughter. Aww. To be honest, I was pretty lost the first few days. Thinking back on it, it was a pretty dark time in my life. But Trucy, happy, smiling Trucy, she was my light. Aww. Yes, adorable. That's cute. Hey, does that, did, did that transfer to something or? <gasps> it's been checked. Ooh. I don't think that transferred to anything now. It's <laughs> just a really weird thing. Jesus. That's present day though, so maybe we don't have to touch that until we beat all this. Yeah. All right, and now, Drew Studio. Let's investigate here a little bit. Seven years ago, Drew Studio. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, boy, wow, it's so different. It is different. I guess that's supposed to be the... The girl? Or, or the, the dad. guy. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yep, there I he is. I figured it'll come out sooner or later. I decided on sooner. Drew Misham, was it? I... I haven't done anything illegal. And I didn't come here to whine about past events. I want to ask you some questions. I suppose you have that right. That day, the entire court descended into chaos. Only you stood still, your eyes calmly watching. I admit, it made, me quite an it made quite an impression on me. I'm used to finding myself in outrageous situations. Phoenix right, was it? I'll answer what I can. I'm not sure, but... Feels like I'm being watched intensely. By my daughter. Oh! She's, remember, was she like, what, 12? Something like that. Yeah, 12. Ah, this is my daughter. May I say hello? Like a bat. Oh. <laughs> She's gone. Shall we begin then? All right, you and me, we need to have a chat, okay? I lost my job because of your ass. <laughs> Judging from this place, you're a painter? 
Not sadly a profitable one. I've never sold a painting. It's a source of considerable embarrassment. I would be able to get by were it only me. Your daughter? Her mother grew weary of being left. I don't want her to grow up needy, Mr. Wright. That is why I began my other occupation. Forgeries? Don't look at me with those eyes. I know what it is that I do. More than half of the paintings they bring me are stolen. And who knows what my copies are used for? But some of your works aren't paintings, correct? You may not believe when I tell you this. It's as real as my skull, and it does exist. Okay, but that was my first work outside painting. Uh, what? To think it would be used as evidence in a murder trial. I know that was a Nightmare Before Christmas reference, you guys, but I, 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 and I know, <laughs> for those diehard fans like me, I know that wasn't exactly the line, but it was so similar, I just <laughs> had to do it. Did of you catch course. that? I haven't watched it enough like you have uh, to really get those I, I, off yeah. the bat. Okay, anyway, I don't have even a rousing possibility. What's this? Okay, then, yeah. then why did you take the job? I was well paid. Very well paid. I think he feels worse about it than I do. Pass is hard to escape. Honestly, the sooner I can put this behind me, the better. With apologies to you, of course. Sorry, but it's not going to be quite so easy. He's trying to forget what he made. Looks like I'll have to remind him. <laughs> I guess I'll have he to present something He needs a haircut. You know what he looks like? A human paintbrush. Yes, a really fucked up human is that, paintbrush. Is that the point? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> He's just a mess. Yeah. But, hey, your notebook page you faked. Your work. Don't try to pretend you've forgotten. Sure, all you did was make a copy. But that copy might have destroyed the life of an innocent man. Yeah. I'm responsible too, which is why I have to know. And you have to tell me. I knew it would be difficult to escape this. Then, let's talk. <sighs> oh, I just realized it's different because that's a different apartment. Or wherever they are. Than what I, he had before. No, I think it's the same because I noticed there's a slidey suit. Oh yeah, and there's the wardrobe. Okay. Yeah, I think when it's just. When was it been... that they moved then? I guess it was before this. I don't know. Because I mean, it seems similar enough. But, the uh, is on the bottom. It's fine. It's it's again. It's a small part. Magnify's diary. Well then, ready to tell me about this work you did? It was unlike anything I had attempted before. I guess it would have been a little different from paintings. It is not what I mean. In all my previous work, it sufficed to create a copy. This wasn't a copy? The client gave me two things that day. The first was a sample page, as reference. The second, a printed document I can only surmise was written in by my client. So you used the real writing as a reference to reproduce what the client wrote? It, yes. As I said, uh, I was my... It was my first job of that nature. So, who was your client? Uh, as I said in court, I, I do not know. Really? Even for such a suspicious request? If it was me, I'd want to know as much as I could about the requester. Like, uh, I, I never met them, but not personally. I... Oh. oh. Ching, ching. Ah, uh, a psyche lock. Of course. <laughs> Seems like you're still hiding something. Something about this work. Hmm. Uh, okay. He's sweating so much. So, we got three locks. Number one. He's also wearing two long sleeve layers of clothing. What's this painting here? Ah, that's one of mine. It's an illustration for a book. It's not on sale yet, of course, but I thought it might be a good business. As a father, I'd like to be able to put food on my daughter's table. Huh. Not a feeling I know anything about, at least not yet. <laughs> but I'm going to. Yeah. Okay. For seven the plus rest. years. <laughs> okay, number one. We got all this over here. There's some finished paintings stacked here. They don't look all that bad, really. I'll tell you one for 50 cents. Uh, that's okay. They look kind of heavy. Oh. <laughs> Maybe he needs to work on his sales technique a bit. Yeah. 
I gotta sell them for 50 cents? What the yeah, hell? Yeah, sell them for 50 bucks, right. dude. Yeah, we can just slide on over here for a closer look. Oh. What's in there? <gasps> a stamp, I see. That's an awfully small frame. What's that inside it? A stamp? Boom. I haven't had my nap. Please don't touch that, I'll get in trouble. Huh? The stamp belongs to Vera, you see. She always puts it somewhere so you can see it. Um... Huh. That's Zach and Valen. The Grammaries, isn't it? The post office issued that commitment to the stamp last year. When the Grammaries were at the height of their popularity. Not anymore. You know what I realized? Yeah? Trucy wears the same outfit as her mom now. Yeah. Scarf yeah. and everything. Yeah. Not one of them has vanished off the face of the earth. Yeah. I went to see one of their shows when she was quite small. She's been a dedicated fan ever since. She watched them every time they came on TV until the end. The sea. Sounds quite hard to come by, I hear. I still wonder how she got her hands on it. Mount of Stamp. Okay, cool. And then... that. Hey, it's the hand that she always shows up when she's yeah. painting the nails. Alright. Uh, envelope. What's this red envelope? It looks more like a bird's wing. Almost. It, it does. I see what you mean by like that. Like, as yeah. the top of the nail polish? Yeah. Ah, don't touch that. That's right. Uh, quite important. The painter's face just changed hues. <laughs> Guess I better behave. No, it's tempting to just grab it. I'm Dang. slowly... Evolving into Star Butterfly's dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't touch that! <laughs> uh, um, I don't assume I can get in there. No. Because I was going to make a small observation that's kind of hard to see because we haven't had any good shots of it. Yeah. But I was thinking of this because I was like, Oh, like they're using the right the animated pose for Valent and Zach. Like their poses that usually when they're standing there, mm -hmm. they just threw that in the um, the the stamp. And I was looking at the girls like, I wonder what they did for that one. And I was like, wait a minute, she looks really, really similar to what's her face. To what's her face? I can't remember her name. The singer, the siren. Oh, uh, Lamor? Yes. She looks very similar to her. It could be a stretch. That Probably is, is a stretch. But you never know. <laughs> she doesn't remember her past. Yo. It's all darkness. Not really. She Maybe. was in an accident, remember? Yeah, and if something happened to her. Then perhaps she could have lost her memory from that based on how the accident was. So she doesn't know anything of her past. So maybe that's not a stretch. We might find out at some point. I don't know. Or maybe that's maybe it's a secret thing that's hidden in the Phoenix Wright games that no one's ever actually figured out. Maybe it's just <laughs> hidden lore than ever expressed, but it's there. Just saying it's that, because we never did learn about her past. It just No. We just learned that, yeah, it's uh it's a mystery, the end. You know? Yeah. That would be really cool. It would. Okay, so now I am stuck in three. I'm waiting for my mic while I'm saying this. I am stuck. Jesus, no. careful. I'm stuck in three, three Magatama things. I think we can go back to, to uh, Valent now, now that we have that locket. He's got four. Though. We oh. were stuck on two. I need to make sure that we can get everything that we can. Well then, right? Tell me about this work you did. It was unlike anything I'd attempted before. Oh wait, I didn't hit the right button. Never mind. Yep, I know then so you got that 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 that. Calm down, Jesus. What do you mean you didn't hit the right button? I didn't hit the Magatama button. Oh. Okay, so let's see what you're hiding from me and if I have anything that can go against it. You're hiding you're, something. Just straight up, you're hiding something. Let's hear it then. What are you hiding from me, Mr. Misham? Sorry, but I really don't know. I've never met the client. 
Hmm. Sure he won't ask the client's name. There was no psyche locks in sight. Regardless, you're hiding something. You have to be, otherwise it wouldn't make any sense. Um, why are you doing this to me? Well, I've made my stand, no backing down now. So what's Misham hiding? The forger, probably. Well, he's hiding the client from us. Oh, yeah. He, well, actually, he's hiding the, the client and the sample. And the forger, because it's his daughter. But no one knew about that until very recently. Like, yeah. literally seven years down the line recently. No one knew that. True. So... Unless Phoenix did, and his way of bringing that out was through that whole trial. Let me say the client for now. As I said, I never met the client. How could I hide someone I do not know? Damn it. He did say that, didn't he? And with no psyche locks either. So, he's not lying about that, I guess. Ask as many times as you want. My answer's the same. Person never spoke to the client. You personally? Ah, uh, that is, um... Hmm. Well, I'm at my stand all backing down now. What's Mr. Hiding? The sample. Yes, there was a reference. Why would I? Why should I hide that? Huh? After the trial, I submitted everything to the court. The work, sample page, everything. You can give me directions to the court if you'd like. That that's fine. I know where the court is. Damn it. So it is. I was so right. It is. Unless you're trying to get me to leave. Ah, uh, sorry. I can sometimes be a little blunt. Well, I mean, so now I just got to go with the forger. I pretty... called it and you said, no, that's well, impossible. I, I didn't know Phoenix knew already. Tr I can pretty it much... starts with trust. <laughs> I can pretty much piece together what is said for what, what it is. Phoenix from what is you've a said. smart boy. Well, what is it then? You told me what you knew about the client and I couldn't see any psyche locks. Psycho locks? Is that some sort of asylum security or new hairstyle perhaps? But then they did show up, didn't they? Who was your client? But that I said in court, I do not know. Really? It was that his request? If it was me, I'd want to know as much as I could about the requester. I never met them, not personally. I... Not personally. Those words trigger the psyche lock. Again with the psycho locks. Now I really must know what they are. So you didn't meet with the client. But someone else did. Maybe the real forger behind this evidence? Uh, perhaps I'm hung up on this lock business. I'm afraid you've lost me. Yeah, well, I didn't come here to talk about psyche locks. As long as I come to the right conclusion, it doesn't matter how I got there. And your conclusion is? The real forger behind this wasn't you, Mr. Misham. P Poppycock! I don't know what you're talking about. That's my work, I tell you. Right here in my studio. Who else could it have been but me? That's the real question, isn't it? The Forger wasn't you. They don't have many other people to choose from. The real Forger Juice Studio is... I picked the right accent for him. <laughs> Puppycock. <laughs> Vera Misham. Yep. Wait, what's it? What the... Whoa, it's a picture oh. of her. Can't see much, but... it's it, Her it's, eyes. It's... Yes. Yo, her eyes. <clears throat> her eyes, the facial structure is similar, the uh -huh. hair is a bit similar. <clears throat> Anyways, Vera Misham. I thought, I thought, um, I thought Lamora had, like, darker hair than that, though. I don't know. Eh. Anyways, the real forger is your daughter, Vera Misham, isn't it? Ridiculous! My daughter's only 12 years old, Mr. Wright. It's always been more one for landscapes, not sheer realism. Nice comeback, but you're shaking in your boots. We've got you now. The only two people with access to the studio are you and your daughter. The psyche locks tell me you're not the forger. Mm. Which makes your daughter the only possibility. Um, I feel very much on the verge of going psycho lock myself. I did it. Broken down. Is all my stuff getting on my- Yay, Yay, it did it. I had confidence it would do that. Thank God it did. All right, now Magnify's diary. Because it did all the other previous things. I do not know how you knew, but you're right. The one who made this page was my daughter Vera, not I. She's only 12. A genius, you might call her. A precocious little girl outshining her father. 
There's been a lot of that going around recently. <laughs> There's a play in the studio and she watched me. She taught herself in that way. The drafting tools and analytical devices I bought when they became necessary. And my little girls play things now. I, I, do I detect a bit of fatherly pride? <laughs> so Vera was the one who made this page. Would she know who the client was then? Well, actually, the client came once. Here, to the studio. What? Why didn't you say that so soon? Oh, so sooner? <laughs> You're talking in my accent now. So sooner. <laughs> but their face, face was covered and they did not want to talk to me. So they talked to your daughter? I will speak only with the artist, the client told me. The little girl might know something about him. Your daughter. Man, his voice is all over the place. Forgive me. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, what do I do now? Maybe I should talk to I'm her father a bit more. I'm trying so hard not to give him judge voice. I've noticed. <laughs> or is it time to turn my attention to Vera? Let's talk to Vera. Mr. Mission, I have a request. Let me guess. You'd like to speak with my daughter. Can I? My daughter has never been one to talk to strangers. She's quite shy. Extremely so, actually. Well, I just happen to be quite a handsome, only one outgoing exception. young man. Huh? Jesus. Which was? Oddly enough, it was that client. Huh? I left the studio while they talked. The third when they had finished, she was laughing. The first time I'd seen anything of the sort. Please let me speak with her. All right. Hello. She's so cute. She's uh -oh. got a little notepad. It's a teddy huh. bear shape. <laughs> this could be tough. Do the teddy bear matches the teddy bear on her overalls now. It does. Well, she likes teddy bears. <laughs> Next time we're gonna try and talk to her. Uh, this is gonna go well. I hope so, actually. <laughs> Here's hoping.